Eric Hartford is really doing a groundbreaking work in generative AI. He has just released Dolphin 2.2 model, which is a fine-tuned version of Mistral 7B. And as we all know, Mistral 7B is one of the most top performant model out there in the smaller scale models. This Dolphin model is already making a lot of rounds. If you don't know who Eric Hartford is, I was able to find his resume online and it is extremely impressive to say the least. I'm not trying to be a fanboy, but if you read through his resume, it, it is pretty evident that he is not uh, an overnight AI sensation. Rather, he has got in-depth knowledge about what he's talking, and he has a real background in machine learning, deep learning, generative AI, and all that stuff. I will drop the link in video description so that you can read along. And my suggestion is don't spam him on his email and phone number. Um, but it is publicly available. Now, having said that, let's go back to his Dolphin website and you can read a lot of information about this Dolphin model, which is on his website. Um, just to give you an idea, this new 2.2 version of this Dolphin model is conversation and empathy oriented. Um, because most of the models which we see out there are really good at conversation, but when it comes to empathy, they're not that good. But Dolphin 2.2 striving to infuse this empathy with the curated uh, Samantha data set and also Wizard LM DNA. So due to that, now Dolphin, Dolphin can give you personal advice and also will care about your feelings with extra training in long multi-ton conversation and that is huge. Also, this model is uncensored, though uh, Eric has already filtered the data set to remove alignment and bias. This makes the model more compliant. But still, you need um, he has advised that we need to implement our own alignment layer before exposing the model as a service. But again, it will be very highly compliant to any request, even the unethical, so tread carefully. This is the hugging face page of this model and what I have just said is uh, written on this page and there are a lot of other information about data set and how this model performs and you can read through as I'll drop the link in future description. In this video, I'm going to first install it locally on my Windows laptop, which has one GPU and then I will show you how to install it in Linux. You, the command which I will use for Linux, you can use it on any Linux system, but I'll be using Google Colab for that with one GPU. I'll be using the quantized version from uh, my friend Bloke, who is again doing wonderful job of creating these quantized version of all the models. So let's get started. The tool I'm going to use for this purpose is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, how to install it, I have another video to which I'll drop, I'll drop the link in video description so that you can follow along. Okay, now op start your LM Studio on the top left, click on home button. Then in the search box, just type Dolphin. Just type Dolphin and then we will see if 2.2.1 is available. There you go. This is the latest one, click on it, and then it says it should work. Let's try to search for quantize something Q5KS, something like that, which is always a good idea. I always prefer it. So this is, there you go. Let's click on download. It is around five gig of size. It has started downloading. Let's wait for it to finish. The speed is quite good for my download today, so it shouldn't take too long. Let's wait for it to finish. Download is almost finished. Let's wait for it to complete. Should be done by any minute now. Download is complete as you can see here in the finish. Now click on this folder icon on the left hand side and there we have our file for the model, which is great. Now in order to talk or use this model, let's click on these three dots here. Let's dismiss and then drag it up it down click on the middle, select the model and just select and load your model which we have just downloaded. And also if you look at the top left, you will see the memory and CPU usage. 
that is done and we just look at it is under 5 gig of memory which is amazing let's drag it a tad bit down also um, on the right hand side you can set up your model configuration inference parameters and then uh, there are all the parameters about top p top k which is nice and let me also show you that this is a uh, prompt format if you don't specify it and then this is our model initialization context length and all that stuff which is cool and this is our hardware setting if you want to tinker with it but mostly the defaults are fine okay cool now let's start talking with this model and see how it works and let's first ask is what is the capital of australia the center let's wait for it to come back And whenever I have asked these questions from the previous version of Dolphin, they were all quite performant. So let's see how it goes this time. I will let it run to so, so that you can also see that how does it perform on my local system. So you can see the answer is pretty cool. I'll just stop generating because it is giving us a lot of other information. Stop generating. Now let's ask it another question. This is a coding question. I'm asking it. Write a Python program to reverse a list. So let's see how it goes. It has generated pretty good answer for me with all the comments and stuff. So I'll just stop generating. Pretty cool so far. And remember, this is a quantized version, so not it's not even a full version. Okay, next I'm also asking it an analytical question. What I'm asking it is that in one year, yellow paint fades and becomes a white color. In my house, in one room, one wall is yellow and rest of walls are white. Should I paint the yellow wall as white now or wait for one year to do so it so that it fades into white? So let's see how it goes. it has started printing out the response so it is saying that if you want the entire room to have a consistent color it would be better to wait for one year and let the yellow paint fade naturally into white okay uh, alternatively you could consider painting the other was a light shade of yellow okay that is totally different answer but i received from other models and i will let you to be the judge i think it could have been better but that is fine okay let's go with another question I'm asking it how to climb the K2 mountain in Pakistan. So basically I'm asking it to give me a plan or something like that, steps. I'm expecting it to give me some of the uh, pre-steps, the preparation, and then the actual steps, and then uh, how to do a lot of other stuff. Let's wait for it to go. And you can see that I haven't told this model that this is the second highest peak in world, but it was able to reduce it, which is amazing. Very nice. So it is already telling us that we need extensive preparation and now it is dishing out the steps. And as I was expecting, it is giving us some of the pre steps like research and understand the climb. I let it uh, go and print more. So let's look at few of the responses it has printed so far. The first one is research and understand, amazing stuff, assemble the team necessary equipment, acclimatize, amazing stuff. So I'll stop generating it. Uh, this looks pretty cool to me. And so this is how you install it in Windows and play around with it. Very impressive uh, model, I would say. Now let's look at it. How would you do it in the Linux by using Python code? For Linux one, I'm going to use uh, my Google Colab and I have selected the runtime as GPU, so change runtime, and you can see that this is D4 GPU. The first step we need to do is to go and install Transformer Optimum, so they are required, and also Auto GPTQ because we are using the quantized version. And again, you can use these commands on any Linux flavor, whether it is Amazon Linux 2 or Ubuntu or any similar ones. So let's wait for this to finish downloading and installing. It has finished installing it. Now let's go with 
the model download. So in this code, what I'm doing is I'm just asking it that I'll just to first import this transformer library, um, all of these modules, then I'm specifying this Dolphin 2.2 model with GPTQ from Bloke's Hugging Face page. And then we are loading and downloading the model and then creating a tokenizer on top of it. So as you can see that download of model has started. This is a it is downloading the safe tensor. The size is 4.16k. So let's wait for it to finish downloading. Shouldn't take too long. The speed looks good today. ETA is around third, around half a minute, maybe 13, 15 seconds. Should be done any minute. And once it's done, I'm going to then play around with it a bit. Almost done. I will let it run instead of pausing it. So download is complete. Now it is going to consolidate the shards and then if there are any, of course, and then it will finish in by any second now. That is done. Now it is doing the auto tokenizer and that is done too. Cool. Now let's try out few of the prompts. The prompt I'm going to use is what is the capital of Australia? And then this is a prompt template required by this dolphin model, which I have put it in prompt template and I am uh, replacing this prompt from here. And now let's print it out and sorry. And then we are generating the response and then specifying the input IDs and stuff. One thing I have added is the system message for the prompt template. So system message prompt and then we are specifying the prompt template here. Okay, let's run it. So system message prompt and then it is throwing it into the tokenizer, it is generating the output. Let's see. So you can see the response is pretty cool. The capital of Australia is Kendra. Very nice. Let's try out a few other prompts which we tried it in Windows. The next one I'm going to ask it is the coding question. Go up a little, replace it with this. Now let's run it. Maybe I will also guide it. Who is who can code in Python? Let's run it. Let's see what it does. Hopefully, with our proper prompt engineering, it would be able to print a good response, and it does. So pretty cool you can see that it has a spot on code with all the examples and then it is defining it too very nice okay now let's give it our analytical question which we use there i'm just remove i'm going to remove it from here and then let's ask it the same question that in one year yellow paint fades and stuff let's see okay hang on i'll just need to Put it here, should be good now, I guess. Yep. Let's run it. And now let's see what the response would be here. Okay, so you can see that it depends on your preference and the desired aesthetic of the room. If you want the yellow wall to fade into white naturally, you can wait for one year. If, if you want, this is the one. If you want the room to have a consistent color scheme, it would be better to paint a yellow, for white, yellow wall white immediately. This is what I was expecting, and this is the correct answer. So same model, it provides a correct answer on Linux with uh, this quantized version, but not really on the uh, Windows one. So pretty interesting. Now let's ask it K2 question. I'm just going to remove it. Let's run it and see what happens. And you can see the speed for this one is quite fast, unlike the Windows one. Maybe it is about GPU or something or my laptop issue, but still. Okay, let's wait for it to come back. Almost there. Okay, so you can see that it has given us quite a good response. Again, research and familiarize, gain experience, physical fitness, the team building, very nice. Permits and visas, how 
meticulous it is in the details. So attention to detail is really very impressive. Prepare care, train for climb, climb the mountain, return safely. That is important too, by the way. And yes, of course, celebrate your achievement. So, you know, extremely impressive. And I don't know why, but maybe for uh, it is the quantization thing. But I believe if you are using the full blown version of Dolphin, this is simply amazing. So this is it guys, this is the dolphin for you. If you have any questions or if you're struggling to implement it anywhere, please feel free to ask it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.